we think it's great momentum to be here. So the world is facing well, several global crises. We're still in the aftermath of a pandemic. Um, we're facing climate change, increasing food insecurity and rising costs due to the war, the invasion in Ukraine. So living income is only becoming more urgent. We need a reset because this disaster will continue since we can expect more shocks to come. Government and partners, the private sector, we have to think in emergency terms because the urgency of feeding ourselves is today's, not tomorrow's, reality. In order to take coordinated multi-stakeholder action, we need to get out of our comfort zones theme of today and take into account the full range of actions that are really required, who's responsible and how our actions can influence and involve each other. But I want to underline that living income is not the goal, that we want to have a higher standard of decency, that really we want to be uh, seeing living income as a milestone um, to prosperity. How do you get out of your comfort zone when you're trying to, to work on, a, on an issue such as farm incomes, which is so crucial? Everybody wants living income, everybody wants change, but nobody wants to change themselves. So they're all pointing at the other to say, oh, if that person, if that organization, if that government, if that company would just do it differently. But what we need is for people to look in the mirror and say, what do I need to change? I can use my role as Minister of Agriculture to ensure that prices, farm gate prices that are paid to smallholder farmers are more equitable and, and fair and take into account um, changes and, and the peculiarities of the living conditions in Liberia. In order to calculate a gap, we obviously need also to get an understanding of what is the farmer income. Suddenly we heard about, about this, uh, this pilot done by Rainforest Alliance and AgriLogic. Using just a, a handful of data points put into a model that has been pre-calibrated for one region, for one crop. We entered in discussion with them, trying to understand where they were standing, and then we decided with uh, AgriLogic to, to invest, to try to develop the tool further to see if we can bring it in other crop than cocoa and other countries than Ghana and Ivory Coast. Aujourd'hui, nous voyons que le, le risque, les, les, les dépenses sont beaucoup supportées par le producteur et le producteur est celui qui n'a pas de la valeur à ajouter. Pour résoudre ce problème, c'est que d'abord le producteur doit s'associer aux discussions qui se fait dans tout le monde entier, surtout sur le cacao. Et aujourd'hui, Le producteur a compris que seul ne peut pas faire la route et ils se sont mis ensemble pour mettre une coopérative en place. We invest uh, millions uh, a year into cooperatives, mm -hmm. farming cooperatives, and we will continue to do so um, as they are uh, often, uh, more often than not, uh, a point of departure for business and also for investment by commercial financiers. And we invest and research a lot in how to make that link work between the cooperatives and uh, financial institutions which is also, by the way, an issue of trust. We've got one farmer that's here, but we really should have more farmers and more farmer organizations that are participating in these sorts of conversations because they are living the reality that we're talking about. The world of today is not the world of tomorrow because the consumer, the government, the farmer itself, everyone wants a better life, but also want to know where the product we are eating, the product we are receiving is coming from. So the prerequisite for me is to have a transparent market where all the players know what the rules of the game are, where the problems are, so we can all fix it. For the poorest households, different parties need to, well, think together how they can create change, which means governments of origin countries, but also consuming countries, um, stakeholders such as private sector, NGOs, farming organizations, um, and ourselves hoping to add value by, by doing our analysis. We all need to welcome the resistance that it will bring in our internal systems um, in order to move forward, to be in an uncomfortable position, because only then we're really changing. The most important point is to, to believe that we can. We are able and we can do the things in a different way and we, as we believe. 
and uh, I think with trust and believe we can do it all together. I think we're all committed here to create action and to do this in a multi-stakeholder um, setting. And I think we're getting there that we realize that we need to take not one action, not one stakeholder, but we need multiple actions by multiple stakeholders. We need it now. Thank you so much, everybody.